You watch it, the hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hi everyone, welcome back to the hot sauce. Um, on today's episode, I have the big deal. Yeah. Moyo. What's up? Hey. And Amanda. Hi. And we're going to be talking about mental health in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. So um, that's why Amanda is here. Actually, <laughs> Amanda is a psychotherapist at Indidi right yes okay so my very first question for you before we jump into conversation is what is the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist i think everyone wants to know that please it's like everyone just needs that clarified um the main difference between a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist is that a psychotherapist cannot prescribe drugs but a psychiatrist can Hang That's on. It. I need to write that. A psychotherapist okay. does not prescribe no drugs. Yes, yeah, so I cannot prescribe drugs to any of my clients. So what I do is I practice basic talk therapy okay. using their different therapeutic interventions. So we have conversations about your problems, oh. about then, your problems, about oh. our <laughs> different problems, <laughs> and then um, in the process of the conversation, we kind of like explore some of your difficulties, your challenges that may be adding to your um, mental health challenge. And then uh, we come up with different ways that are helpful and healthy for you to cope with them. You so if one of your clients needed medication for this, yep. you would then have to refer them to a psychiatrist. Yes, exactly. I that's it. it. So, so that's so it. Quick question. But a psychiatrist. Now, most of the time, they, they come to one. So a psychiatrist can prescribe also practices psychotherapy so, no, so they're no. like a chewing one package you know they're like the ones that know the drugs and so are you on your way to being a psychiatrist oh no, or no, no, you're no. Good i have actually i'm a very firm believer sorry believer in um talk therapy like yeah. it's that is that is it so quick question go ahead if you're not gonna like prescribe drugs yeah are you gonna diagnose what mental illness yes i can diagnose. diagnose of course i can okay. yeah so you, we can diagnose but we just can't prescribe we even know some of us have like uh training and during our, like my master's degree, I did psychopharmacology, so I am familiar with some of the drugs that you use to treat certain mental health um, issues and such, and how to handle a patient who's taking some of those drugs. Then I can, I just can't prescribe. And so if I had a patient, but then there are some cases that really need uh, the, medication. Yes, medication needs to be medicated for schizophrenia and bipolar. Right, yeah. They need to be on mood regulators very often. So those ones, I would definitely like. Before you come to me, I would make sure you see a psychiatrist first of all, so that okay. you get medicated first, and, and then, then we you can, can then have yes, a so, and then we now do both of them at the same time. So you're in your medication, and then at the same time you're having talk therapy. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about the the two mental health diseases. Is that I don't know the terminology that's it's appropriate. An it's an illness, right? <laughs> I don't it's know. I'm asking. I try not to. Learning. It's it's very weird because. There's like a mental health disorder, mental health disease, illness, challenge. I just, I try to look at it from a point of view of um, how about we don't see it as an actual problem, but just to see it as a challenge, a difficulty that you have to overcome. So, so a challenge I, is a problem. Yes. So I just call it like your mental health challenge or your mental health difficulty. But I, I don't want, I, I try as much as possible to stay away from calling it an illness or Does a disease. this terminology help the client? Because... I would yeah, go some of them, if yes, A equals B and B equals C, then well, A equals C. For different for some for some people, they do they sort of want to hear that they have something is wrong with them. They want to hear that they so have some a people disorder. prefer so, the disorder, illness, the but hard on. Yes, is, something yes, is wrong this, with me, exactly, something broken. Exactly, I need to fix it. And exactly. Some people would prefer that you just refer to it as a challenge. And sometimes you don't necessarily have to. They don't have to like necessarily tell you that that's what they prefer. You can just tell from the way they act. Someone, yeah. if you tell them, okay, I think that you're really sick and that you're ill. Something is wrong with you. They tend to close off and you don't want to accept that something is wrong yeah. but then when you have some people it's just a challenge and it's just a few we're habits work yeah through. we're gonna work through yeah, so it makes them a lot it. more yeah. comfortable. comfortable so they feel capable that they know how to overcome this problem that they have so that's why i choose to do that i prefer to refer to it as a challenge rather than an illness or a disease but sometimes it's necessary yes to it's necessary to just like force. full on full, full force on it yeah. okay so we we just you just mentioned schizophrenia and bipolar yeah, yeah illnesses yeah <laughs> it's fine <laughs> and, and um we're in nigeria not yeah. lots of people know a lot i don't even know a lot about mental health yes. illnesses yeah. how to fix it and whatever but there's we have people walking around on the roads that just like it's disturbing and yes. looks like no one cares about them mm-hmm. but how do you get to that point and how do we 
I, I don't even, you, like you see people on and you're like surely there was a journey to this point it mm-hmm. wasn't like it How wasn't did you, you didn't just wait i don't yeah. i don't think it's a thing that you just wake up yeah. and suddenly you go i'm gonna just walk on the road because you know I, th- there's a process to this so yeah how do we this is I, taking the fact that this is nigeria and mm-hmm. we're a very religious set of people and yes. everyone once you're not normal, normal. quote unquote you're yeah no I'm one normal. really exactly no one really cares about <laughs> exactly. you how 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 would someone feel comfortable because even themselves they might not feel comfortable coming to a psychotherapist or even mm-hmm. a, psych, a, a psych anything mm-hmm. because they feel they're just going to be bound and put in bed or whatever yeah. so how how do we get to that process yeah. where they find you or you find them <laughs> advertise <laughs> But then I know it's like it sounds very businessy, but then it's just talking about it. So constantly, constantly, constantly. About it. That's how I get to find them, and that's how they get to find me. As I'm answering the last question that you asked me, so it's pretty much just talking about it. Every okay. chance I get, every every opportunity I get to speak about it, is to let people know that this is what I do, and that if you need help, this is where to go, and to constantly educate. Now, I know, like people want to be able to identify these illnesses before it gets to the point. Like, where, how would I would I help? Would you, if I, how would I help Moyo, for example? If you notice that, yes. You see, now the thing <laughs> is, um, I'm still trying to figure that out because everyone thinks that there are these like major signs. You know, how if you have malaria, yeah. people will know you have malaria. Like, these yeah, major signs well. that say, okay, fine, you have a mental health problem. But the thing is that. They all exhibit in different ways for different people. For different people. So what you might think might be a mental health problem for one person might not be the same thing for another. I can't I can give you symptoms, of course, but then for the fact that they are different disorders, for the fact that it makes it difficult for you to say, okay, fine, this person is everyone wants to categorize everyone under depression. That's what I've noticed. But yes. then there are other yes. mental health yeah. issues. And I'm yeah. saying that that's, that might not be the problem. Not everyone is, of, depressed. Is, is depressed. So it's like some people have depressive symptoms. Some people are sad. Some people are miserable. Some people are melancholic. Uh-huh. But then the thing is that it's not it's not that it's going to be like that for every single mental health challenge you have. I They're see. all different. Schizophrenia presents differently from bipolar, which presents differently from PTSD, which pre- presents differently from anxiety. Sometimes they can come You're together. Around so many words. Okay, I can I can explain so many and words. <laughs> but before we get to that, because yeah. I, I do want to, because I know Moya also is really interested in, in mental health yes. awareness. Yes, really yeah, but but you are though. You were excited when we said we we're going to. Yeah, be. but and and I know you are part of an initiative organization. Yes, mentally aware Nigeria initiative. Yeah. So, what do you do for them? What do they do? What? Well, basically, as the name says, Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative is just to create awareness about the various mental illnesses that there are around and also to provide solutions for them. But the main issue in Nigeria here is we don't really take mental illness seriously. I mean, we take physical stuff seriously, but mental illness, if you're not roaming the streets (laughs) naked or whatever, it's not serious and that and that's a problem i mean just last no. month chester mm-hmm. bennington hanged himself he committed suicide he's the lead singer he was the lead singer for lincoln park mm-hmm. and somebody made a post on on facebook and a nigerian went underneath and said this is why this is something black people can't do white people are so they are weak they're this and it was, he just went on saying some really messed up stuff and that's why i keep saying i mean the way we see mental illness in this country is the reason why um as I was reading something and the budget for mental health and the whole health budget is the lowest. It's because we don't see it as a, as problem. a problem. And that's where, that's the real problem. And because we don't see it as a problem, people who have mental health issues can't come out to say, because people be like, why are you doing like a white person? Ah, sleep. We, get, we, we take it with a pinch of salt. And that's a problem. So basically what the mental, um, Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative tries to, tries to do is just to spread awareness. You How know? do you do this? Like, I... Because are there posters about there's that website, I just haven't seen? Or... There's a website. They're doing a, so BB, we'll, we'll a BBC put the link document, on the website yeah, BBC in the documentary on mental illnesses among young men oh, right really? now. Yes, and they go right now. There's an outreach to go to schools just to sensitize young children so they grow up knowing that mental illness is serious and it's it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of if you want to maintain your sanity. It's not All right. Um, I think we're going to have a part B of this conversation because yeah. this is this is really interesting. So stick around with us. We'll see you on the other side. Bye, guys. 
Hi guys, if you like what you just watched, please leave a comment in the comment section, like our page and subscribe. If you don't like what you just watched, please leave a comment and subscribe. Bye guys.